another video today. Today, I wanted to talk about Bad Company, specifically about what made Bad Company great. Now, DICE hasn't really ever spoke about Bad Company 3 in too much detail. There's been a few hints uh, here or there, but really nothing major. Of course, that's down to the fact that they're making Star Wars Battlefront 3 and Mirror's Edge 2. So they've got their work cut out. But hopefully, fingers crossed, for sometime in 2016, we can see the sequel to Bad Company 2. Now, only just recently was I playing Bad Company 2 the campaign once again, I've played it about four or five times and it just never gets old, at least for me, because I found the campaign for Bad Company 2 just astonishing. It was so much fun to play and it had so much replayability to it with the humour, the characters, etc, etc. But uh, I saw on Steam they had this article saying about something towards Bad Company 3, so instantly uh, he clicked on it. Now, it says here uh, from the DICE CEO, what is it that people really liked about Bad Company 2, uh, or about Bad Company? Now, to me, that question says, we want your feedback for the next Bad Company game. Of course, I could have all this wrong, it could mean something completely different, they could just be asking a harmless question on the internet, but, but to me it just says they want to know what people really liked about Bad Company, so they can start building off that and building the next bad company game of course not just yet get star wars and mirror's edge 2 out of the way first of all make those uh, make those great games and then focus on making uh, bad company 3 really really amazing just like bad company 2 but they also go on to say some people say they found the multiplayer controls faster and more direct some people like the single player and the characters and the humor people love different things about it it's starting to almost get to the place where if we were to make a sequel of bad company what would we even imply well in the way of the single player i loved absolutely every single second the characters the humor the story it was all just so amazing and then then of course uh, battlefield 3 came along and the single player it was okay it wasn't really anything special but it was fairly fun to play. Then of course Battlefield 4 came along and the single player was truly dreadful. Some people might like it, that's fair enough, but I just found it too linear, too boring, and there wasn't enough freedom for the player to, to do. It was just go to this mission, this uh, place, do this objective, kill a few people, job done. They also say, but some people say this, the Bad Company 2 multiplayer is the best you've ever done, okay? Why is that? It's hard for people to articulate why that is, which is actually hard for us uh, as well. It would be hard to remake something like that. Now, I don't think that's entirely true, because if you just take the fundamentals of Bad Company 2, the multiplayer, because the multiplayer of Bad Company 2 was astonishing. It was incredible. It's so much fun to play and so much fun just to keep coming back and playing over and over and over again. Of which, I think that's one one factor that made Bad Company 2 really quite special. But the gunplay, the hit detection, the netcode, all of this was really quite fantastic. So hopefully, if they just put that in Bad Company 3, you've got the fundamentals of a really great shooter. Of course, uh, you might want to look into upping the player count to 32, because I don't think Battlefield really needs 64 player combat. Uh, I just think it's too many players and too much going on at one certain time, because, for example, Battlefield 4. Now, Battlefield 4, in certain conquest situations, you'd have uh, four jets in the sky, two attack helicopters, uh, a couple of little birds, transport helicopters, jeeps, tanks, quad bikes, LAVs, mobile AAs, of which are the burden of our society, but you have all of these vehicles with infantry, warfare, grenades, explosions, destruction, dams coming down, buildings falling down, all of this going on at the same time, I just find it's too much, and they may have overcomplicated things with, uh, with Battlefield 4, but uh, as long as you keep it simple, because that's something else I really liked about Bad Company 2, was the simplicity of the gameplay of the customization where you had, uh, you had quite a few weapons, granted there was quite a few assault rifles, SMGs, LMGs, sniper rifles, and all class weapons, which were the uh, shotguns, pistols, uh, World War II weapons, etc, etc. And all of that was really, really cool. Now you had the ACOG site, the Red Dot site, and that was pretty much it in the way of uh, attachments. 
um, as far as I can remember, of course. Sniper rifles had different zoom scopes, of which was very cool. But besides that, really, uh, it was very, very simplistic. And hopefully, Bad Company 3 keeps it very simple, doesn't try to overcomplicate things, doesn't try to go for the top with vehicles and the all-out warfare. Now, something else Battlefield Bad Company 2 did really well was the DLC. Now, Bad Company 2 didn't have too much in the way of expansion packs. They had a few uh, map and uh, game mode uh, DLCs, which I think that that's really quite cool to have certain maps that incorporate certain game modes, Rush, Conquest, so you can't play every single map in the game on, say, Rush. That's quite awesome because it kind of reduces the uh, level of mistakes you can have in Rush. For example, Battlefield 4, uh, not every single map in the game works for Rush or Conquest. So if they just built the maps around the game modes or the game modes for the maps, then I think it would be a much better result. But Bad Company 2, they did have one very special expansion pack of which you probably already know this. It's called Bad Company 2 Vietnam. Now, everything about this expansion pack was truly, truly awesome. The maps were incredible, the weapons were so much fun to use, uh, the character models were very unique, very uh, fitting for the expansion pack. You had flamethrowers, flamethrower tanks of which I didn't think a tank could get any more deadly and then they stick a flamethrower on it so that was incredible. Uh, incorporating all the destruction you saw in Bad Company 2, uh, leveling every single building, destroying bridges, it's just incredible and unfortunately they didn't quite bring over that greatness from Bad Company 2 into Battlefield 4. With that said though, uh, there's definitely something to think about in what could possibly turn out with Bad Company 3. Of course, none of this might happen, it, uh, it's all up to dice, but do feel free to leave in the comment section below any thoughts and opinions you might have on what you thought made Bad Company great, of course, if you played it. Nonetheless, I do hope you enjoyed this video, thank you very much for watching, and as always, until next time. So, welcome back to another video today. First things first, 